Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a bad intro today and this one's really exciting because I've done a bit of a theme. Um, way back when I used to order a lot of these uh, and then I sort of like moved away from them and now they've started bringing out some fantastic new things. Um, all just uh, yeah, in this little category. So I've got some more to look at. Yay! Okay, this package has come to me from DIYchose.com and there are some fantastic special offers on at the moment. Um, if you sign up for their if you sign up for their mailing list, you get 10% off, which is brilliant. Uh, over $49 is free shipping. And there is a special offer on, if you spend over, I think it's a dollar, there's 21% off. Um, over, well, it says £49.42, so I'm not sure what the translation of that into dollars is. You get 25% off, and then I think it's $100 is £82.37. Uh, is 30 percent off so if you're wanting to get your christmas shopping done uh, and stock up on a few bits and pieces they're brilliant offers but as always do go and check out the website because those special offers are as of making this video at the moment and they may have changed by the time you watch the video okay so uh, let's have a look and see what we got this time so we have oh a diamond painting with something looking at me da, 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 da. And let me just put these, oh, that's a bit of uh, rubbish that I've opened these up so I don't have to struggle with the scissors. Uh, we have a little special drill project. And we have, oh, look at this. <gasps> oh, uh, I think somebody just dropped something outside and then somebody found it really, really funny. <laughs> don't know whether you heard that or not, but anyway. So, yeah, as I was just saying, it, uh, so I've got this and this is what I really wanted to see because there's quite a few of these in like the little sets, different ones. Uh, but look at that. It's a Christmas decoration to do. Uh, but look, oh, I want to get into this and have a look. So a huge thank you DIY Chills for sending me these. Okay, and uh, one of my favourite sayings, apart from let's measure this and uh, various other things. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I was expecting so it's a Christmas tree decoration looks like we get this is the embellishment to go on it which is all made up for us it's all got little wires and things on it so we've got a lovely uh, like hessian bow with a lovely little gingham bow over the top and then we've got these two gorgeous uh, like fern uh, uh. embellishments with the holly berries on it and we've got a little pine cone there as well so that's two of those joined together wow what was the price of this this was four pound 27 this kit so i mean you'd pay a couple of pounds for one of these wouldn't you so yeah the bow's a little bit big it's covering the berries but uh, oh i wonder if we can oh look we can bend it up a little bit so, yeah, we want to be able to see the berries and all the bits and pieces. Or would you bend it down? Maybe you'd bend it down. I don't know. But anyway, we'll have a play about with that. But, yeah, I think that's excellent. So, oh, and we've got ties on it there, look. So I'm presuming that this little tie at the back, you know, the little wired ties, or is that just how they've fastened the bow? That might be just how they've fastened the bow. So we'll have a look and see how we're supposed to fasten it. It's got a little bit crumpled, but that's okay. But don't, that just screams Christmas to me. Yay! <laughs> so now you want to see what this is, don't you? As you can see, it's wooden. Um, and again, it doesn't really show up on the website. I do think you need to see these things, which is why I love making these videos, because I can actually show you what they are. And uh, yeah, look. It's an owl sat in a fair corn tree a pine tree whoops get his head in there liz but look how big that is i mean when you see them on the website you think oh they're going to be about that big but this is lovely what is he about six inches do we think out with the trusty tip <laughs> so yeah he is he's six inches which is 15 centimeters by five inches which is about 12 and a half centimeters so excellent oh look i've got 
bits everywhere. Goodness me, clear off my desk. How can I show things when I've got bits everywhere? Right, so yeah, lots of colours as well on this. But isn't he lovely? Just to have him, he's quite big to be sat on a Christmas tree. Oh, I think I, I'll have to have him maybe hanging either side of my mirror or maybe where I, because I hang my Christmas cards, I put like a string out. Um, and actually the string's got lights on it as well. And because we just don't get quite so many Christmas cards anymore. Um, I know when I was card making, I used to go into a lot of swaps and we used to get loads of Christmas cards and things. But now we don't get quite so many, so I tend to fill it up with decorations and things. So this would be lovely to put on, and I'm presuming then. Oh, this hangs on the string over the top. I was thinking, oh, if we put that on there, it's going to spoil it. But uh, sorry about the shadows. Um, we are in for Storm Agnes at the moment in the UK, so we are sort of battening down the hatches a little bit. Um, I'm sure my dustbins will all go for a walk onto the middle of the patio again. So, yeah. Oh, and it's got two little holes there, look. Oh, he's just got a little bit scuffed on his ear, but that's okay. That's the back. Nobody's going to see that. I don't know if you can just see, there's two, yeah, you can. Two little holes, one there and one there. So I'm presuming that's where the string will go through. Okay, we have a pen boat wax. Oh, and a few little grip seal bags as well. Very nice. So this is our string to hang it up with. So actually, you know, I've got some um, gardening twine that I use quite a lot, gardening string. And I do think that will look better than using gold. I mean, you can use the gold, but I think the sort of string with it being like a neutral colour, like the Hessian bow that we've got there, I think that may look a little bit better. Plus as well, um, yeah, I'm going to have a job getting that through there. It can be done, but it will take quite a bit of tweaking to get that in there. And then I can save that for another project. Wow, okay. Gosh, this is brilliant. I love that. That just shouts Christmas to me. Um, yeah, as I say, I do love Christmas. What can I say? All right, so let's have a look at these little gems that we've got. So how many colours do we have, Mr. Owl? Ooh, just look at that. Just... And there is a lot in the set as well. So now I've got this one. I'm feeling I'm going to have to get some of the others. I'm loving these dark wood things. I really do. Because the edges are dark as well. So I don't have to get out my pro marker or anything. It's all nice and dark and done. So it is a partial um, for anybody that's new to diamond painting. So you are just literally putting your little gems, your little acrylic drills um, on the where the letters are and where the letters are will be sticky. Where there's no letters, there's no sticky, which is really good. And oh, the edges aren't sticky either. So that's been a bit of precision glue in there. Uh, if you've seen my mammoth ceiling videos, you'll know that that isn't always the case, but it is in this case. So that's a big thumbs up from me. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's go. How many colours have we got? Goodness me, right. So we are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 17 colours. There are 17 colours on this little owl. That is amazing. Wow. This is just going to be so contrasted and so pretty. And look at him with his bow. Oh, that's wonderful. So we'll start at the end. So these are all your sort of owly colours, your browns and your tans and your little bit of beige colour. And now my printer's talking to me. Hello, printer. Yeah, it's probably updating in the background. And then we've got some sort of peachy, beigey colours. This owl is going to be so many different colours. Well, it's, I mean, to be honest, it's all on the owl, isn't it? And then a little bit on the branch. Wow. Okay. So we've got a little bit of yellow around his eyes. And I don't think I'm going to substitute out any of these because there is so many colours that it, is, it would, well, it just wouldn't work, would it? Um, yeah, I'm just going to use all these colours and see where we end up. 17 colours, that is excellent. 
that just shows uh, to me that's good charting because they're wanting to get as much sort of 3d effect and depth into it and all the shading so that it really does look like feathers but oh he is just gorgeous save for it under five pounds so you've got the pleasure of doing it you've got a little christmas tree decoration or a decoration that you can hang up that's going to last a long time and you've got this as well i mean you don't even have to use this you uh, you could use that on something else you know i could put that at the bottom of my clock actually but no i am going to put it with this so i will get him done uh, at the moment i am on halloween and autumn themed things uh, as i've been tidying out as you know i've done a big d stash and i was tidying out and i came across these look that were at the bottom of my box because i stammed everything up like that these had slid underneath so i hadn't found these but uh, yeah these are some uh, gnome key rings that i got oh last october so i'll just have a quick flip through these i'll just quickly show you these these have got the same uh, string in as well for hanging so although it says key rings you could just use these as decorations and these are all crystal so i thought oh, well it's sort of um these are all autumny colors so i'm going to be using these oh that's a baby we decided that was a baby laid flat with its bottom in the air and butterflies and it's got sunflowers in it you see so i thought i'd better get these done and we've got the uh, little gnomes as well with the sunflowers because uh, yeah all the sunflowers are, are flowering at the moment and starting to come to the end and i will be going to the, the pumpkin patch again and hopefully getting a sunflower head that the mouse won't eat this year so they're all ones that are actually in my little basket to do what i tend to do is um, like it's coming up to halloween and everything i've been going through all of my stash um and i'm putting everything that i want to do now in a little basket well not a, well it's a big basket to be fair um if anybody finds uh some hours in a day that are a bit longer let me know uh, but yeah so if you want to see the full unboxing and see all the crystals and everything on these um they were four pound 67 well more or less the same price as the owl uh, and there is i've not written on it how many there are what was there about 10 12 there and uh, yeah it's october last year so if you check out diy choose playlist in my in my youtube videos um, i have a playlist for each company that i use uh, uh you will be able to find this one and you'll see off oh, that unboxing so yeah just thought you might like to see those um because i've just come across them today as i've been tidying up my final tidy yay but i'm uh, back to this owl and i just can't get over how fantastic that is i love him oh. okay so as i say i am on a theme so the next little kit that i have which was the lovely price of three pound and 86 pence just could be could be oh look it's some more owls <laughs> Oh, try, I either get a glare or I get shadow. I must get those lights out. Can you tell I'm good at procrastination? But I just don't seem to have enough hours in the day at the moment. Oh, and it's in grip seal bags as well. Oh, I love it when they've bagged themselves up. Look at those colours. Ooh, ooh, we'll have a look at those in a moment. Oh, I sounded like an owl then. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, dear somebody yeah uh, yeah tell me to shut up <laughs> right and these are a new thing that's come out as well that i've only just started seeing uh, on the website and it's a set of three so rather than having three separate key rings which are double-sided they're actually like a hanging chain so you put the little key ring i'm not going to open this because as you can see there's jump rings in here and things do tend to jump off my desk and then i never find them again uh, even though i am tidy now things just disappear so you put the big one at the top so you've got the key chain at the top and then you hang all these together with the little jump rings so you've in effect got like a little mobile so you don't have to use it as a key ring uh, you could even use your string on it look and just string them all together and have them hanging um in fact i will probably do that because I, I want to have them hanging from my light shade albeit hubby keeps telling me if i put any more hung from the bottom of my light shade in my craft room the light will co uh, come out of the ceiling so i've got to be very careful because tavern paintings can be a little bit heavy when you get lots of gems on them and they're all together 
so yeah so that's your little kit there looks like we've got plenty of jump rings and they're all open as well i don't know if you can just see that through the back yeah you can they are all pre-opened so you don't he even have to worry about let me just take them out i will take them out but i'm not going to take them out the tray <gasps> this is where the tray pings and everything goes everywhere no it won't look on the bright side please. it won't so that's your little keychain oh that's a very little dinky little doodah keychain look at the size of that one that's a very little one so yeah all of your little jump rings have been opened and uh, as i always try and say they you do open them side to side you don't just pull them apart and uh, take the circle out of its circle as it were uh, you do pull them side to side because then they go back together easier and stay in the little round shape so yeah that's those and a pen boat of what and wax of course so look at these little look at these vases i think there was two different ones in the owls and then i think there may be some others as well in uh, other designs but i just thought these were fabulous i just like the fact that these two are flying so i think that one will have to go at the top because that one looks like it's flying beating its wings a lot faster this one's like oh i'm just gonna sit here and hover and this this one's like well i'm just gonna let you all carry me at the bottom <laughs> He hasn't even got his wings out. <laughs> but the colours are fab and I just love their expressions. They actually look, well, these two definitely look like they've got uh, spectacles on, don't they? Because <laughs> their eyes are just so big. But yeah, oh, I just love them. So that's the way we're putting it. Yeah, he's sort of like, come on, you guys. Come on, come on. Let's get this going. And this one's like, ah, I'm just cruising. And he's like, nope, I'm not helping. You can carry me. <laughs> right, so pre packed gem. Gosh, it looks like we've got 19 colours in here as well. Oh, my goodness me. So these are all crystals. Well, apart from, I believe, we have a 310 black in here. But, yeah. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, I'm loving these. I'm so pleased I got these. So, yeah, I'm on a bit of an owl kick again at the moment. It's probably because we've got the owl back in the garden. So, yeah, I do like hearing him twit to wooing at me. So, yeah, we've just got the standard uh, acrylic black there, which is probably going to be the middle of your eyes. Got a little bit of gold. Let's see if I can get these into shot a bit better. Because, uh, yeah, actually, we might have 20 colours because I've just seen that. That is a double O oh wow so let's have a look then so we've got your yeah, standard silver is double o so if that's sort of like naught naught to 19 is 20 colors isn't it number one is a pale pink <gasps> number two is a hot pink yay calling hot pink and oh look at that sort of orangey red color gorgeous and a nice cherry red and then a purpley sort of grapey colour there. And a slightly darker purpley colour. And that one is a very dark purple colour. Wow. Okay, I do hate it when the weather's like this and quite uh, get the colours so well. And that's a bluey colour. I know a lot of the colours do appear very, very different on camera as they do in real life. But these are very shiny and sparkly. And they're in bags. So we've got another blue there and a very, very pale blue. That's nice. That's like an ice blue. And then look at these aquas. These are gorgeous. They're like more jadey, aren't they, than aqua. And another variation on that one. So the shading's going to be really good because you're getting uh, like two that are very, very similar. So you get that little bit more shade and depth. A darker green. And oh, that lovely fresh pale green a gold there and a very pale yellowy gold and then what was number 17 17 is a little bit of pink 18 is a nice honey gold and then 19 so yeah there's 20 colors in this one wow 20 colors on three little owls but they are double-sided but even so that is excellent love that I am having so much fun. I hope you are enjoying looking at these with me as well. 
but this one I just absolutely love and I hope you do when you see it as well it's a partial and it was only £4.35 plus as well obviously if you are spending the money you do get your discount as well which is excellent and if you do sign up for if you do sign up for their newsletter you get 10% off as well so it's uh, worth just getting the email newsletters to let you know all the new things that are coming out but yeah i think you can probably guess that this is an owl staring at me again but it's a christmas one yay so let's have a look at this one let me get in just loving these so much oh, look at this look at this oh, is that not just absolutely beautiful he sat move out the way you he sat in like an oval shaped reef and that is just the most elegant beautiful owl sat there it's like a snow owl so we're all like whites with a little bit of pink shade in there and then he's in this gorgeous wreath with this big flower and bow at the bottom. And we've got baubles all the way around. And as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh, that is just fantastic. This will be pride of place with my Christmas things this year. I just love it. It just, oh, it's Christmas and it's owls and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. This one's 13 different gems and colours. Uh, there's no codes on these, they are just the numbers um, from 1 to uh, 7 and then we're A, A, B, C, D, E and F, so yeah. But on special drills you tend to find that your symbols and letters are very easy to read and these are certainly clear. Uh, my little owl has got a little bit crumpled coming through the post, but it is poured glue, so I'll just put it under something heavy and it will flatten. And um, I don't want to put this to the top of my pile to do now, but it is going to have to wait because I want to get all my Halloween autumn ones done. So, yeah. I've only gone through um, my bits and pieces so far, which is why I found these. I've got to go through my canvases next. Um, and get those done as well. So I'm just going to be 24 hour diamond painting, I think. <laughs> so I can get to these, oh my goodness. That is beautiful, oh, I just love it. There is a notebook with this owl on as well, so I will be getting the notebook as well, because it's just so pretty. Actually, it'd be interesting to see the contrast between the gems on the uh, notebook, which is obviously smaller, it's more of an A5 size. Uh, whereas this is your 30 by 40 size. Uh, let me give it a quick measure. I think we'll be about 25 by 35, but we just like to check. So yeah, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. 35 centimetres, 13 and three quarter inches. So yeah, uh, we have our standard toolkit, pen, boat and wax. Let me put that one there because otherwise uh, I'll be putting that into my bucket with all the ones for donate and losing my key ring, won't I? <gasps> look at these big gems that are looking at me out of this packet. Oh, and we've got twinklers as well. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's have a look in here. Crystal, crystal, crystal. I just love sparkle. If you can't have sparkle at Christmas, when can you have sparkle? Okay. Oh, that one's a separate packet. Look. Oh, and it's a bag with a diamond on. So that's number 12, yep, yeah, and that's E, so we've got, oh, we've only got three, we've not got any spares. Never mind, we can't have spares every time, but they are huge, look at those. They're really going to shine, so that's your three baubles around the edges. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look at the rest, oh my goodness. Oh, oh dear, oh heck, oh, we've had a bit of a, a machine malfunction, but never mind. Right, so... So we have this gorgeous Christmassy green and a very sort of rosy pink colour and a little bit of pale pink and then another green there that's more of a jady colour and some cherry red and a honey gold and a little bit of silver and then our larger gems we've got these round ones without any facets so they're like a semi-sphere and then oh dear these two wild have been in the post. I've decided to have a party. So we have. <laughs> we 
we have the C's, which are the large gold ones, which actually we only need two, and there's, uh, what, five in that packet, I think, have muddled in with the marquees. Uh, yeah, all that's happened is, um, as they've been put into the little packets, the uh, machine hasn't uh, heat sealed this in between. So we've ended up with two packets just going in together. Now, fortunately, because the special drills, I mean, those big drills are so easy to pick out. That's not a problem at all. Uh, if it had been sort of like two colours of green that were very similar, um, I might not have been quite so pleased. <laughs> No special drills, that's okay, and these things happen, so yeah, I have no problem with that. As I say, that are easy enough to pick out, and again, we've got spares on those. So. Wow, and then look, we've got these toy colors. So, these are a standard silver gem, and they have an iridescent coating on. So, where's the standard one? Let's see if we can get this. So, that's your plain silver, and then that's your sparkler, and I think you can see. All right, that's either really sparklers or twinklers. I can never remember which, but whichever way, they are very, very sparkly. And you just get that extra sort of sparkle to them. Does it tick? Oh, that might, oh no. I'm trying to get it without the uh, shadow and the uh, glare on it. But yeah, they are gorgeous. Oh, and then we've got two great big teardrops in gold. And I'm presuming that's for his beak. Yeah, it will be. And we've got two, uh, and we only need one. So we have got some spares. These are the only ones we've not got the spares of, sadly. But that's okay. As I say, we've got spares of everything else. But this is just so gorgeous. Look at that owl. Oh, I could just sit and look at this all day. <laughs> just talk amongst yourselves while I just meditate looking at this owl. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, so what an absolutely fantastic haul. We've had our beautiful owl canvas. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave him in the middle. We've had our really fun little owl keychains. Let's put them the right way up, book. So we've got him flying, we've got him sort of cruising, and we've got him saying, Well, I'm not flying, you all can do the work. <laughs> and then this wonderful owl sort of you know go away bag <laughs> this wonderful owl decoration which i'm just i love this i knew this was going to be beautiful when i saw it on the website because the crystals and everything are going to be great that's a great bit of fun but this i'm blo really blown away by because it's say a lot bigger than i expected and the amount of colors on it is just wow brilliant and then that uh, little decoration that comes with it as well Okay, well, huge thank you, DIY Chose, for sending these. They're absolutely wonderful. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and enjoyed seeing these. Uh, I know I certainly have. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.